Welcome to Amateur Radio W8CBT. Captain Don here. Um, so I am going to show you the assembly of the Elk 2 meter slash 440 LLB 5 element dual band long periodic antenna for satellite work. So we're gonna we're not gonna use what came with it. I 3D printed this handle so we're going to use this handle that i 3d printed so um i'm not going to keep the video on the whole time but i'll do it in sections here so uh, let me open it up and get everything set up all right this is just showing you basically what comes with it you got a bunch of elements and you got the main beam with the uh, coax connection, which is actually on the end that you point toward the antenna. Um, there are these parts here for their handle. Like I said, I'm using that one. So let me get everything set up and we'll see how it goes here. All right, so basically this is how it goes. They're color coded, so red, green even though that one looks like blue okay green yellow white and then no color so i'm going to go ahead and put that together and uh we'll show you what we got after that all right we have it together i noticed these uh elements are a little bit tougher than uh the arrow two elements a little bit more sturdy so now what i need to do here is there's two holes there so these two have to come off and then that screw right near the top one has to come off and then I slide this up there and then screw those two elements back in and then I believe I can take off them two because I'm not going to use that mount so I'm going to go ahead and undo the, that bolt right there there's a nut on the bottom there and unscrew these two and go ahead and install this handle that I 3D printed. Okay, so I took off this nut and bolt and a little spacer in it. And now there's nothing there. So now this needs to get, I can't really hold the phone and do this, but you slide this in here. Let me get it started. Okay, so I forgot to step them two screws there. I'm gonna have to unscrew out of there. Almost looks like they might be glued on there. Could be a wash or two, I won't know until I take them off, but gotta take them two screws off because it won't slide past that first part there. So I'm gonna take them screws out and we're gonna, we're gonna, um, slide it in there and mount it so give me a second here to do that so my 3d print is cracked because these holes are were not big enough so i'm going to go ahead and uh fix the 3d print and make the holes bigger and then uh we'll come back to this all right, I found out that that glow-in-the-dark filament was not good filament, for one. Two, the holes that the two black tubes go into were not big enough. I had to ream them out. As you can see, I got a little crack there. So, I'm going to fix that by putting some glue in there. And I'm going to put a piece of duct tape around there and call it good um i took off them to pvc because we don't need them i mean that's pretty sturdy holding up the antenna now and i'm gonna put the phone grip on and once that's done i'll take one more shot it's definitely a lot smaller than the arrow 2 antenna a lot lighter 
I've been told it doesn't work as well. Um, but we're going to see. So let me finish the last little bit here. I'll take one final uh, video to end this video. And then the next video will be trying it out. All right, so we got the finished product. The grip is on. I glued that crack and put some uh, duct tape there. The antenna actually hooks up at the front. Um, so I may get a 90 degree, we'll see. And I put a little zip tie here and then that end goes to the radio. So definitely a lot lighter. And then what it is, is it's got one beam for 20, I mean, 70 centimeters and one for two meter. And then they seem to alternate top and bottom, top and bottom, top and bottom, top and bottom, top and bottom. And I guess that's uh, how it works. So we'll see how good it works tomorrow. This is hold up pretty good and let it dry overnight and the glue let the glue dry overnight and we're gonna give it a shot tomorrow compared to the arrow 2 uh, thanks for watching amateur radio WHCPT.